it's Christina and we're talking test tips. And today we're talking about specific strategies in the reading and science sections to ensure you earn your goal score on the ACT. All right, today we're going to finish our talk about specific strategies to ensure you earn your goal score on the ACT. And we already covered the strategies for the English and math section last week. And we do have a video that runs through what to do each day of the week before the ACT. So today we're going to focus on key strategies for maximizing your score on the reading and science sections of the ACT. So I know I can sound like a broken record, but it is essential that you keep track of the questions that you struggle with as you prepare for the ACT. So have that sheet of paper and write down for each section the content, strategies, and pacing. And that way in the final days before the test, you will have these sheets as your guide for what you need to be sure to review. All right, let's get into some specifics. In the reading section, you want to spend about eight and a half minutes per passage. But if this timing feels tight, then consider changing the order of the passages. So try doing the passage that you struggle with the most as your last passage. And this way you can spend as much time as you have left on the challenging passage. So remember, on the ACT, those four passages are always in the same order. Prose, social science, humanities, natural science. So if you notice that one of them is more challenging, then just do that one last. Okay, your most important job in this reading section is to rephrase the passage and questions and answers in your own words as simply as possible. So. I recommend talking like a caveman. Oh, I know, hear me out. But imagine you read a question that asks to, to infer something about the author, but the wording is really complex. And so you think about the most basic information in that question in your mind, and you just say, why he not go? And then you go back to the passage, read a little bit, and you think, he no go, he no like crowd, not worth trip. Now. I know this sounds really silly, but imagine how many answers you could cross out knowing that you're looking for a negative answer, an answer that says the trip was troublesome, and even an answer that says the trip was not necessarily valuable, right? Even just one wrong word or phrase is enough to eliminate that answer. And remember to actually cross out those eliminated answers. As you go back to the passage, be cautious of deja vu language in the questions and the answers. So this is when there are words or phrases pulled directly from the passage. And it's good to notice this because usually it means you know exactly where to go in the passage to look for your answer. But you need to be sure that you read above and below that deja vu language to know if you are interpreting the meaning correctly or if you are actually answering the question that is being asked. All right, in the science section, you're gonna focus on the fact that the answers are somewhere in the passage, tables, graphs, figures. So take some time to draw on the graphs, mark in the tables. Also, remember that caveman talk? So since you need to be clear about the variables, procedures, and trends, you're gonna use that caveman voice to generalize the basics of the experiments and to rephrase the questions and answers in your own words. So for example, passage about how much dissolves, graph and table show how much dissolve, experiment two different amounts of water. So I know that sounds crazy, but think about how the answers and the questions will now be far more straightforward after you have ensured that you have this general or basic understanding of what each passage and experiment is about. Also remember that in this science section, just like in the reading section, just one word or phrase is enough 
to eliminate the answer and remember to actually cross out those eliminated answers. Okay, so the takeaway here is that both the reading and the science sections require moving at a pretty quick pace and require you to rephrase the passage, questions, and answers in your own words as simply as possible. So consider using that caveman voice. And in case you missed it, we went over the strategies for the English and math sections last week. And in the meantime, if you want to earn that goal score, you know what you need to do. Focus practice, keep track of the kinds of questions that you struggle with, and then review your personal list and then these universal strategies. You've got this. All right, happy practicing. Thank you.